Okay, guys, it's bug squashing time. Spider Right of the Shrouded Moon is the second game in this wall crawling spider series. And much like the first game, you'll be zipping and spinning your webs to snare an impressive collection of insects. But you can't just spin webs recklessly. You'll need to use your spider sense to build efficient webs. Affirmative. Uh, to create a web, you'll need to string at least three strands together to make a triangle. Then the web will fill itself in and be ready to catch insects. But the game's real strategy comes into play in deciding where to place your webs. Many insects have predictable flight paths, so you can easily set up sticky traps for them. Although your web strands will snap if you try and string them too far, so you'll need some nearby objects to anchor them to. Yeah, some of my webs were pretty unorthodox, depending on what furniture was around. The game also challenges you by strictly limiting the number of web strands you have. Run out of threads and it's game over for Spidey. You can regain some precious threads by eating insects, but you will still need to be careful about how many strands you use. Ideally, you want to construct your webs in positions that block at least two insects' flight paths. Good point, Darren. I also noticed there's a bonus multiplier for every bug you catch without touching the ground. I never managed to combo more than a few insects, but I bet there's some pro players out there who managed to do an entire level with one combo. Yeah, no doubt. Although, Darren, couldn't you just use your amazing robotic reflexes to show us a perfect combo? Uh, well, of course I could, but uh, I wouldn't want to embarrass you two, and I'm currently running routine diagnostics on my reflex subroutine, so they're offline right now. How convenient, Darren. Well, anyway, there is more to this game than just combos. I also noticed that different insects require their own strategies. Some bugs need to be tackled with a nifty jump, while bigger insects have to be knocked into your webs. And ants move really quickly, so you have to anticipate their movement and jump in front of them. You're right, Hex. Some of those later insects are super tricky. Especially the bigger flies that can bust out of triangle webs. I had no idea how to trap them until I realised stronger square webs were needed. The worst were the red hornets. They attack you with their stingers and can only be beaten with some serious arachnid acrobatics. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Nicely done, Darren. But I also liked that underneath all of this web weaving and insect eating, there is a deeper mystery to solve. As you explore the mansion's various locations, you'll stumble across clues that begin to piece together the dark secrets behind the Blackbird Estate. There's certainly no shortage of gameplay crammed into these locations. There's clues to find. Most locations are broken up into multiple rooms, with secret areas on top of that. Plus, this barn level has lots of moving parts, so I had to thread my webs super quickly before the machinery snapped them. Huh. The developers have also cleverly implemented real-time weather and time of day. Uh, so if you play a level during the day, not only will the weather match what you see out the window, but if you return to the same level at night, it will be altered to feature nocturnal insects. Yes, it's very impressive, isn't it? And I also heard that that real-world weather ties into the clues. Apparently there are some secrets that only reveal themselves when it rains. I could do my rain dance for you if you like. Uh... No, that's okay, Bajo. I think I'll just be patient. Thankfully, there is plenty to keep me busy with here. This game is just so polished, and the difficulty curve is spot on. And I love all the little details, like the insect collection and all of the stats. I'm giving this four out of five rubber chickens. Yes, even if you don't like creepy crawlies in real life, you'll enjoy them in this game. I'm giving it four out of five rubber chickens as well. Now, Hex, would you like to see my rain dance now? Ah, oh, fine. Oh, it's amazing, it's oh, miracle! Wait, no, oh, my hair! Oh, oh, it's hitting my joints! Oh, oh, oh. 